Edgar, Nidia, welcome back. Thank you very much. Good evening, Thank teacher. You, ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Good evening. How was how was your day today? It was very well. What about yours? It was great, man. Can't complain, you know. Nice. Can't nice complain. To hear that. So yeah, man. So what's what's good? You know what's what's uh what 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 have you been up to? Uh, I've been I've been cleaning the windows of my house. You've been cleaning your windows? Wow. Okay. Yes. Well, what happened? <laughs> what are you cleaning? Uh, we we just clean like once or twice a month. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's awesome. All right, very good. So, uh, oh, okay, from your business, right? From your store. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we we stay at home right today. All the right. little store is like twenty five meters away. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. So, well, nice having you here, man. Nidia, how are you doing, Nidia? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thanks. All right. Oh, you're I still working. Uh, yes, in my work. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for being so disciplined. That's awesome. Yes. All right. Thank and then we got uh, Elvira. Welcome, Elvira. How are you doing today? All right. Liana, how are you doing? Liana Maria. How is everything today? Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, my day today was so busy. All right. All right. What uh? What what do you what what do you do for a living? For a living, um, I was um, I was doing homeworks, and I was working in my house. Okay. All right. You were working in your house. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. So welcome everybody. Uh, Angel, Irma, Edson, Liana, Elvira. Right. Welcome aboard, guys. So today is our last day from this module. How are you feeling? How, but by the way, you all finished the platform, right? Nobody's missing the platform, am I right? Please tell me that nobody's missing the platform. Am I correct or no? Yes, I finished, teacher, the platform. platform. Yes, okay. teacher, I finished the platform. All right. I'm done, teacher. All right. Okay. Very good. Very, very, very good. Okay. So, guys, we are going to continue talking about past models, right? Uh, so let's see, let's see what, you know, what we learned today about it, right? So we went over the examples of past models yesterday, correct? So we went over this. So who can tell me what do we use? I mean, what, do, what do we use, uh, past models for? Tell me. So past models, right? What are we using them for? Yesterday, okay. we went over this, right? So what do you think? The user form, teacher. The, the use of what, I'm sorry? The the user form, the, this yesterday, um, May, uh, might. And yesterday, the, May, might, uh-huh. And the... Uh, the subject plus made or might plus have plus verb pass plus no no but what do, i mean no but that's oh, a structure right now i'm talking about structure. what do we use it for like well, for what purpose do we use it what do you think speculation right speculation 
Yes, very good. So we use it for speculation, right? Remember, we're being super chambrosos, right? That's what we use it for. Okay, but about something in the past, right? About something that you think might have happened in the past, right? And we have multiple models. And what is what is one thing that they share in common? I mean, models. What is one thing they share in common? ¿Qué es lo que comparten? What do you think? Have. The verb. Have. have. Exactly, right? Exactly. Okay, so. All right. So, all right. So, you know, we use me, right, to speculate about the past. We use my to speculate about something that did not happen. Take a look at the first example that we got here. Uh, who would like to help me read the first example? Me, hey, teacher. Go ahead, Edson. The car came around the corner so fast I might have been killed. killed. Very good. Good job, right? So, so fast I might have been killed. Good job. Uh, okay, got it, Ro. Got it right. So, yeah. Okay, so what might be the speculation, right? Something that didn't happen, right? So, so fast I might have been killed. See? This part right here, I might have been killed. Was she killed? Have you heard that meme, guys? Pero moriste? <laughs> so, what, was she killed or not? No, right? She was not killed. Right? So, she was not killed. So, how did, did this happen? So, we use might to talk about things that did not happen, right? So, all right, so let's let's move on. Before we, we start talking about past models, guys, you know, uh, in the past models to talk about speculations, right, that did not happen, okay? I want you to imagine this situation, right? I want you to imagine the situation where you are seeing you know, the car, a car going very fast, right? So what could you speculate about it? If you see a car coming really, really fast and it almost hits you, let's pretend that, you know, a car almost hits you while you're waiting for the bus. What kind of things would you have said? Remember that you need to use might have, right? So you can say, oh, it might have killed me. What else could have happened to you? What do you think? The driver, the driver may have used the phone. The driver might have used what? I'm sorry? The, the phone. The telephone. The driver might the have telephone. been using the telephone. the telephone. Right. So, okay. Very good. Might have been using the cell phone. Right. Good job. Uh, what else might have happened? So, yeah. One of the things is that the driver might have been using the cell phone. Right. Uh, I could have been run over. Right. What about that? Could you have been run over? Do you know what being run over is, guys? Atropellado. That is run over. Okay. So that might have happened too. It might have been run over. Okay. What else could have happened? What do you think? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. The brakes failed. The brakes might repeat, guys. The brakes might have failed. The brakes might might failed. Have failed, right? Very good. So, guys, so I want you to do this, okay? I'm gonna send you the following image, okay? Um, this one right here, and I want you to come up with. 
10 examples in couple, right? I'm gonna, hold on. I'm gonna show this over here. Hold on, guys and girls. Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna send this to the WhatsApp group right now. And uh, I'm gonna couple you up. And once I couple you up, you're gonna give me in your notebook as a couple, 10 examples of what could have happened, okay? So for example, you're gonna say the car came around the corner, right? So fast, right? The car came around the corner so fast and then you're gonna give me the rest, right? And you will say, I might have, I might have what? I might have plus and your, um, plus a past part. Well, the, the structure that we saw yesterday, right? Right, I might have plus past participle plus, you know, the rest of the sentence, okay? so. 10 examples, guys, per couple. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. So let's Teacher, go. Tell me, tell me. Uh, could you show me the screen, the presentation for please? The yeah, I sent it to the I sent it to the to the WhatsApp group. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. I sent that to the WhatsApp group. So let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. 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 Ma. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. I have I have one. Um, and the car might have hit me. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. The car might have hit me. I have been killed. I have the car. Okay. The car came around the corner so fast. I might have been in the hospital. Okay. I think la second the car come around the corner so fast I might have room over the top. Sorry again, please. Uh, the car might have room over the dog. <laughs> Sorry, I I didn't understand. <laughs> El carro pudo haber atropellado mi perro. Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, my God. The car came around the corner so fast I might have. Room over the dog. Hmm? Room over the dog. Run over. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm, okay. Run over, run over. 
And now, that's, let's that's see. Good. I may have flat tire. Sorry? I might have flat tire. Es que me cuesta la pronunciación. A ver, pinchado su hija. Sí, porque no le... I don't understand. Ok. Again, please, in Spanish. Uh, what, the three? Um. The, the driver, the driver might have, uh, uh, might have drunk. Might. Mm -hmm. The driver might have drunk before getting into the car. Repeat again, Edgar, please. Good job, good job. That is an awesome <laughs> example. Okay, the, the driver might have oh. drunk before. Might have, have The drunk. driver. The driver might have. Mm -hmm. My my have uh huh yeah drunk drunk before get into the car before getting mm -hmm. before getting thank you teacher before getting before getting in into the car. Okay. Or in the car. In the car. Okay. Okay. The next one. The. Oh, how can I say peaton? No. Peatón. How do you say? Eh, vamos a ver cómo, <laughs> cómo se dice peatón. <laughs> the car came around. The car peatón. came around. On the corner of us. It might have. Yes. That that four and uh, uh, the car come around the path, around the corner to path. I might have down away my my vegetable. Vegetable. <laughs> vegetable. That's vegetable. Yes. Vegetable. Vegetable. <laughs> Okay. Again, please, Irma. In the fight, in the car, the car around the corner spot, and we have. Give me right. <laughs> uh, 
All right. All right. Very good. Very good. So did, did you finish all 10 of them? I mean, all, um, yeah, did you finish them all? We have six. Oh, you have six, okay, all right. Five. Very good. Okay. With May. Uh, did, did you finish yeah. them all? I may go to the job. Yes, uh, so, so teacher, I created sentences right now. For example, I have one. Mm -hmm. I may go to the job tomorrow or I may go to the job uh, the, the day of tomorrow, algo así, quiero ver. No, era, I may go to the, the job the next day. All right, I may go to the job the next day. All right, yes. all right, very good, very good, okay. Good, good example. All right, yes, it's a good example, yes. Okay, and from my I may I might go to the doctor tomorrow. I use might because sometimes you feel it very well and you can't you can't go to the doctor. You use alternative medicine. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. Good job. We're going to, after you finish the examples, we're going to go back and we're going to analyze them. Okay. Which, which examples? The, the ones that you're making right now. Only one for, from one. No. Uh, how many examples did I ask you guys? Did I ask you four? For a couple? Hmm. And okay, we have a classmate stay in the job right now. All right. No, that that's fine. That's fine, right? Like but but for a group. I actually you have like a lot of people here because some of some of you were alone. So I had to put you like okay. together here. All right. So I, I want 10 examples, right? I want 10 examples per group. It was per couple, but now you guys are are some of you are working, right? So did you finish okay, all ten create... all the ten examples? I create two. The mate Edson Stanley can create other two. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good. Very yes. good. Very good. All right. Awesome. 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 Okay. So, okay. So finish all 10, ten of them. Okay. Uh, Teacher, I have a question from this. Is mm -hmm. five for May and five for um, might? Five, no, just just might. Only from might. Yeah, you can use May too. I mean, you can use both. The thing is that I want you to talk about a speculation that, you know, for something that cannot be changed, right? Okay. May, May is from... Probability alta, really? Yes. And might is from a uh, down probabilities. Yes. Oh, it, this is the only difference. Yes, that no, 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 no. This has nothing to do with that. Um, it's probability, yes, but this is a probability in the past. In the past. Yes. Eh, o sea que esto, teacher, es como, por ejemplo, algo que pasó y no algo que va a pasar. Exactly, yes. It's, it's a speculation oh. about the past. Uh, I understood it's in the future. No, it's not. No, it's not about the future. But, no. It's no, about the past. past. It's like yeah, gossip. No. It's like gossiping. Gossiping. Yes. gossiping. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Listen, it's like saying, hey, you know what? Um, like, for example, the example that you're supposed to be working on right now says, oh, that driver was, you know, that car was was going so fast, right? Ese carro está yendo tan rápido. He might have killed me. Pudo haberme matado. That's what you are doing, mm, okay? Yes. So I want you to tell okay. me que pudo haberles pasado, right? 
or that's that's those ah. are the ten examples that I want. Yes. Okay. I Press. understood finally might, not made and might. Yeah, and made, same thing, you know. I mean, if you use them with, okay. with have, you're talking about the past, not the future, not the present. Okay. Uh, All right, we're gonna go back now. Okay. okay. I need to go back now. Very good. So, uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let me hear your examples. I just want one of your examples, okay? So just, just one. All right, so who wants to start? I'm going to ask everyone. So, you know, let's let's start, okay? So who wants to give me the first example? Go ahead. Me teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. The car come around the corner too fast. I might have the mind. Okay, very good. Right? Very good. I, I might have what? I'm sorry. What was the last part? I might have I might have what? I might have given me a ride. Okay. He might have given me a ride. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Me pudo haber dado ride. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes. Oh, okay, right. So he might repeat it. He might have given me he might a ride. Me a ride. Very good. Good job. Good job, right? Who's next? Let's go with Ali. What do you have, Ali? Let's go with, okay, who's in there? I have other example. All right, yeah, go ahead, man, please. Uh, the drunk in the car may crash with me. Okay, the drunk in the car may crash with me, right? But that's not a speculation of the past. It's remember that we're using may have or might have, right? So we're talking about the past right now, right? So do you have an example in like the that? Past, I use have. Yes. But have have in the past. No, have. He I might have, have. and then a past participle verb. Okay. All right. I'm going to show you more examples with the next topic, but uh, let me hear more examples. Listen to your listen to your um, classmates' examples. So and and take notes, right? And you follow the same pattern. So Edgar, Edgar, what do you have, Edgar? Okay. He might the I mean the pedestrian might have crossed the road without watching on both sides. Very good. Without watching both sides, right? Very good. Good job. Good job, man. Um, 
Angel, Angel. What do you have, Angel? No, Cesar Guadalupe. What do you have, Cesar? The car came around the corners of bus. My dog might have been run over. Your your dog might have been what? I'm sorry. Oh, your dog might have been run over. Very good. Good job. You got it. Your dog might have been run off. Run over. Very good. Uh, thank you. That's a good example. All right. Elvira, Lorenza. What do you have, Elvira? Yes, no? All right, so let's go with Irma Raquel. What do we have, Irma? Yes, teacher. I might have uh, um my have fly tire. I might have what? I'm sorry. Flat tire. I might have a flat tire. Okay. Yes. All right. So you can say he, right? He might have a flat tire. But uh, but that's that's in the future. That's not in or that means that's in the present, right? Not in the past. He might have gotten a flat tire. You can say that, right? Guys, we're forgetting something, okay? And this is this is what I want you to remember. I want you to remember that if we're using guys, the structure you have it in your notebook, because we saw this yesterday, right? You have the subject, right? So subject. Plus what? What else do you have? The model. Very good. What? Very good. So we have a model, right? So we have might, yes or no, right? Or <laughs> may. <clears throat> right? So might or may. All right. And then we have? Have. Have, exactly. Have. And then we have a past participle. Guys, do not forget the structure. Okay, so you can say, you know, oh, he was driving so fast. And then over here, you can say, he might have been arrested. All right, do you get it? Right? Pudo haber sido arrestado, right? So that's, that's basically, guys, what this... Uh, what, what this is, okay? So, speculations of the past, but you have to follow that structure, okay? So then we have, guys, the model perfect continuous, okay? And models, guys, models in the past can be used in continuous form as well, okay? So for speculations, everybody repeat. We use this and repeat with me, guys. For speculations, repeat, for speculations. For speculations. For speculations. speculations. About a continuous action in the past, so speculations about a continuous action in the past. For example, take a look at this scenario here. Okay. So what's going on here? What's going on with this scenario? What happened here? So we have a police officer. We have a car turned over. Right. The driver was drinking. You don't know, right? You might assume. So how do you assume that? Okay, the structure is like this. You can say he might have been drinking and driving, right? So take a look at this, guys. So it says, right? So model. So we're gonna go with right model perfect continuous, right? So you can say. Something like this, right? So you can say, he might have. Um, so you can say, oh, this guy just had an accident. Okay. And then you can say, you 
you know, and his car flipped over. Flipped over, guys, is that que se volteó, right? This guy, this guy, sorry, not this guys. This guy just had an accident and his car just, you know, flipped over. And then, guys, I want you to say he might have, right? And then past participle. And then, you know, the compliment, okay? So I can say, right, so that is the, this right here is the structure, right? So you can say he might have, and we'll see what other examples we come up with. So you can say he, for example, he might have been drunk. He, I'm sorry, he might have been, oh, I'm so sorry, guys, we're forgetting something here. Been drinking. All right, and what are we doing here? He might have, and then we need been, okay? Sorry, so we need been, and then we need the ing form of the verb here. He might have been drinking plus a compliment, right? The compliment is optional if you want to add more information, right? He might have been drinking, right? So, why? Because, you know, this is a, this is a continuous, this is supposed to be a continuous action, but I am speculating, right? So, ha sido un chambre lo que pudo haber pasado. Does that make sense? So, uh, what would be another example? Tell me. You guys give me examples now. Give me examples now, because because I forgot. Yeah, maybe a dog go. Maybe a dog go go south. Okay, so you can say right a dog. Repeat a dog. I mean a dog. A dog. Might a dog. have Might been. Crossing the road. The road. A dog might have been crossing the road. Very good. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Yes, Alejandro. That is a good example. He might have been sleepy. Very good. That is a perfect example of a model plus uh, a, a, a perfect model um, tense, right? However, we're talking about the continuous form. So in the continuous form, that would be something like a dog might have been crossing the road. He might have been, All right? So what else, guys? What else might have happened here? Tell me. Teacher. Teacher. Tell me. Tell me. He, he might have been driving fast. Very good. He might have been driving fast. Very good job. Thank you. Who gave me that example? Leah. He might Leah, have right. been smoking. Very good, right? So he might have been smoking. Right? So you can say he might have been smoking, right? By the way, guys, do you, well, do you think that you could crash a car if you're smoking? Maybe, right? I don't know. Uh, Edson, he might have been using drugs. Very good. Edson, that is a perfect example, right? So he might have been not using the the verb is not using the verb is consuming right he might have been consuming drugs very good all right okay you got it guys so that's you know how we use speculations uh in a continuous form right what do you think they might have been doing so if we go back to the presentation here, right? They don't know. Well, actually, somebody please help me read this. What does it say? Yes, anybody? Volunteer? Me teacher. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you, Edson. Okay, uh, they don't know why he crashed the car, but it heard that he may have been drinking how driving. Very and good, driving. Very, very good. So we don't know, right? That's why it's called a speculation, because we don't know if he was drinking and driving. We don't know that, right? We're just chambrating, right? 
So take a look at the structure above, guys. That's how you use it, okay? So if you want to use it in negative, what do you use? Well, what do you do if you want to use it in negative? What do you see here? You need to insert the word not mm, between not. the modal verb and the word have. Okay? You use the word not between the modal and the word have. All right? So that's what you do, okay? So you're going to say, for example, uh, he might not have been drinking, but may, he might have been texting his wife. Pudo que no, pudo no haber estado tomando, pero pudo haber texteándose con la esposa. Does that make sense? Teacher. Tell me. I have a question. And, and, and describe the negative. Uh, can you use uh, the contraction haven't or not no. or not have no. mm -hmm. only or not have because the particle not goes after this so you cannot you can't say mind or maint got it so no this goes before have so you can't say haven't All right you cannot okay okay very good question okay so see right so this is a good example right quinoa is a simple food that you may not have heard of right um so we have right uh we have the particle not right after the motor right so we have the model hold on don't guys okay so we have the modal here and then we have the particle not over here right and then that's talking about things that might have not right things that might have not happened okay so real quick guys real quick um i want you guys to write down the structure that we see here right do you think you might have plus a past participle okay so let's take a look of Let's write down the structure, guys. And I want you guys to notice why we would be using something like this. What if we want to ask politely? Sorry. Uh, I just dropped my, my keyboard. All right. So what if, guys, what if... Right? What if we want to ask politely... Um, what if you want to want to, want to ask politely about your speculation, right? You say this, guys. So this is how you make questions. Do you think you might have plus plus participle? Okay. So you say, do you think you might have? Uh, used the bathroom. Do you think that you might have used the bathroom? Okay. So what is this type of question? What are we doing with this question? Sorry, guys. What is what are we doing with this question? So we are speculating, right? Estamos haciendo una especulación de alguien y le vamos a preguntar a esa persona. Pero vos no llegas y le decís, ¿verdad que vos estuviste usando el baño? Do you do that, guys? Do you think that that's appropriate? Hey, you've been using the, the bathroom, right? I think yeah, you, you might have been using the bathroom. That is, that is impolite, okay? So what we do, guys, is do you think you might have used the bathroom? Repeat, guys. You, do you think? Do you think? You might have you, you might have, have used, used the, bathroom. the bathroom. Okay, so I want you guys to ask more questions using this structure. Ahorita, guys, here you're gonna you're gonna uh, write down guys five examples. I want everybody, I want you to write down five examples of a question like this, following the structure that we got here, okay? 
So, cinco ejemplos, guys, ahorita, on, in, in the structure that we have in front of us, okay? Do you think that you might have, and follow the structure, right? Try to give me fun examples, you know? Try to make them as entertaining as possible. No. El comer en pasado.
All right, so let's see what we have. So I got, um, we got Irma. Do you think, well, we got Nidia first. Do you think you might have, you might have past participle? We're forgetting the past participle. Now, you might have gotten the flu, right? Or you might have come down with the flu. Irma, uh, do you think you might copy it? You might have, we're getting the have. Have, 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 have. Have. We're talking to the past. We're talking to the past, right? Um, Yancy, do you think he might have paid attention in the English class? Very good. Teacher, I have a question from this. Tell me. Why you say has, has? Tenia, tenia. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you, what are you, you say? About? If you had had, what is what? Eh, o sea, ¿por qué va doble? Had. I didn't say have have. I have not ah, said. Ah, have had. Yes. I listen have had. Okay, no, no, I didn't say that. But yeah, now you you cannot use a double have like that. No worries. All right. Uh, she says, do you think he might have? Paid attention in the English class. Very good, Yancy. Do you think he might? She might have bought the books. Very good. Do you think the teacher might have might have did the English exam? Might have. What do you mean? Do you mean that I created them, or do you mean that I took an English test? English so, test. So. You need to say, do you think the teacher might have created the English exam or might have taken the English exam, right? Not did. Thank you, teacher. All right. Do you think the chef might have cooked the turkey? It's the, not the. <laughs> do you think the driver might have arrived? Very good. Good job. Irma, do you think you you might have copied my homework? Very good. Do you think you might have washed my shoes, very good. Alejandra, do you think you might have given me, not give to me, giving me the money you owe me? <laughs> All right, yes. Okay, very good. Very good. Good job. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So that's that's about it, right? So we use this, guys, to talk about speculations of things in the past. So whenever you use C, have the word have it means that we are talking about the past right uh, and i mean have plus a past participle whenever you have past having a past participle you know that you're talking about the past right um liana says do you think you might have used the computer very good liana uh joanna says do you think you might have done to the beach with another girl. All right, very good, very, 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 <laughs> very, very nice question, all right? So, all right, good job, good job. All right, so guys, um, those are really good examples, guys. Um, did you learn anything, guys, during this module? Did you Did you like them? Did you have fun? Did you learn, guys? Today is our last day, right? So what do you think, guys? How do you feel? Are you going to miss the classes? Are you like, oh, my God, finally. Teacher. Tell me. Do you think you may have taught, uh, taught us the next module? Do you think that you might have what? I'm sorry? You might have taught, taught us. The next level. You might have taught us the next. But level. remember that you're talking in the, the past, next, next right? Model. Mm -hmm. You're talking in the past. So that question cannot be made. You need to say, <laughs> do you think that you might give us the next module, right? Or deliver okay. the next module. But in that case, because we're talking about next, that doesn't make sense because we're mixing the future and the past together, right? No, um, but yeah, I understand. I understand. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, you know. Uh, Edson says, do you think you might have had 
the spice tackle. Very good. That is correct. Okay. So guys, that is that is it for today, guys. Do you have any questions? Anything, guys? Anything that you want to say? I hope to see you on the next module, teacher. Hey, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. You guys have been really cool with me. Some of you have been very uh, disciplined and you have joined the class regardless, you know, if you're working or not. So I really, really appreciate that. Remember that uh, you have my number on the WhatsApp group, right? If you need anything, let me know, right? Um, don't drink, but if you drink, invite me, of course. Uh, <laughs> of right? course, because uh, well, Mexican. Well, Mexican, right? No, uh, but yes. Um, so yes, guys, you know, I, I've had a really nice experience with you. And uh, I really appreciate, guys, you coming early, you know, um and i hope you know i hope to see you around okay i don't know maybe maybe you'll see me in the next module maybe maybe uh you're not who knows guys but again you have my contact there guys if you need anything please don't hesitate on in, in contacting me okay thank you very okay. much guys i i hope to see you around take care and good night Thank, uh, thank you, teacher. You are a great teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Take care, guys. Take care. Blessing. Take care, too, teacher. Take care.